Alright, uh, anyways, what's up guys, welcome to another game, uh, I think it's semi-finals, no, it's quarterfinals, I think, of the MVSS EA, and we're joined. I'm Samuel. Sarah. I'm Johnny. I, I'm... Yeah, you heard him, you heard the yeah. legend, the myth, the god, the one and only, Johnny Ma, the myth, the legend. You already right. know, this guy's a, like, this guy's insane, insane shot calling, insane coaching, like, insane game knowledge, like, this guy does everything. And no. what are your thoughts on this match, like, just coming into it, like, we have Burnaby, what is it, Burnaby North? Was it Burnaby North and Churchill? Okay, okay, and, um, uh, talk, talk to me, talk to the people, okay? Talk to me, talk to the people. What are your thoughts? Like, do you think, who's gonna, who do you think is like better overall? Like, what do you think? Like, what are your thoughts on both teams? Well, I don't ha know right now, but I have heard what, there is some beef going on between what, both ADCs. Ooh. So let's see what's gonna go on. All right, all right. And already we're hit with the Lux ban and the Darius ban coming from, I think, Burnaby North. And we're hit with the Cassidy and the Hecarim ban from Churchill. Uh, probably targeting both the mid and the jungle on Churchill's side. So what do you I think about know. those bands? Uh, well, I've been influenced by J7 Dang or Jordan Tang. Uh, Kassan is disgusting. I don't like that champion. It's not fun. It's not balanced, especially when it's funneled. Don't funnel. Uh, if you funnel Kassan, like, I'm sorry, like, dude, yeah, dude, something's wrong with you guys. Uh, but Kaisa ban coming from, uh, North and Nocturne ban from Churchill. They're really targeting the jungle on uh, North side. And if I believe correctly, like, what do you think about like this meta? Like, do you think like they're targeting like meta champs or like what? Well, I think right now they're still partly stuck on the world's patch, so they're still banning the champions that was good. But those champs are still good there, or in this patch. So I think that what H Anthony will have to do something that he's either not comfortable with or pull out something that he hasn't pulled out before. All right. Uh, and let me see. Oh, Morgana picked. Like, what do you what do you think? Oh, what are your thoughts about these? Uh, what about about this first pick? Like, it's it's pretty risky, I'd say, because we don't see a lot of Morgana first picks. Mm. And we do see what Vladimir and Senna picked on the side of Churchill. Nice. Vladimir, disgusting. Senna, disgusting. Morgana, disgusting. You know, it's, it's... Ooh, we got a whole selection of just broken champs. Ooh! So yeah, and already... What... Yeah. So yeah, a lot of scaling for, what, Churchill? But... I want to see what they do in the early game with those two champions. Oh my but, goodness. But what's your opinion on those two champions? Uh, Senna, Senna, Vlad or Tarek, Morg? Uh, Vlad and Senna. Vlad. Wait, what? Uh, just what do you think about that pick for the first two picks for Churchill? Senna, honestly, I feel like now that we know about it more, it's, I feel like it's really broken. Not really broken. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's really strong actually, uh, with paired with the right ADC, uh, or it could be a f good flex pick. Like then we could get like maybe a really strong support maybe, or something like that. Uh, Senna is already like, like she can scale pretty hard like i've seen like fully like basically she's like pike 2.0 with like how much damage she can do uh like just watch her scale and that like just mow her down mow down the enemy team like you know that could happen but we have a tark jungle i think yeah we i believe what we saw him pull it out in like one of the previous games in group stage and we do see Echo coming out for North and Garen coming out for Churchill. No. So it's Call possible me that I'm gonna say it's possible that they pick what Tarek top. 
我这粉丝。Yeah. What if that's a funnel? You know. True, true. It could be funnel, but I believe what they're saying in the beginning what was funnel allowed. So we might see a funnel here. Right. And we do see Yasuo and Renekton getting banned from Churchill, and Zack and Kate from side of North. What no, do you think? Of... The... Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about the the four bands? Hmm. Okay. Wow. Yeah, Yasuo Renekton. Like Yasuo is really strong. Um, if you know how to use it right, obviously I do. So you don't really know. I'm spitting out the knowledge, talking about the facts, straight cold facts. I'm a diamond Yasuo man. You already know. I'm. I gotta flex that. You already know. Uh, but Yasuo in this patch is either, I think it's like really broken mid lane. It's really broken mid lane. Top lane is more iffy because they're just. So many stronger champions that I would say in the top lane that you could pick instead of Yasuo. Unless your team comp like revolves around like knockups and maybe team fighting, then yeah, pick Yasuo top and that's good. Maybe you could pick Orion in mid, but Yasuo is a stronger mid lane. But they already picked the mid uh, mid laner, so I don't think Yasuo is a really good pick here. Uh, I'd say the medic team pick was uh, I mean Ban is really it's a good solo one v one with the new conquer. They pick rise, and but what I wanted to see was uh, Cassiopeia. Actually, that champs is not fair with Conquer. Yeah, it's just way too much healing, and we do what see Zyra and Warwick coming out for Churchill. Two right. weird picks, I say. Two weird picks since there you have so much healing and damage, but it is going to be a Senna ADC. A lot of poke, a lot of damage coming out. And it is Tarek and Morgana bot. I'm kind of questioning the... Burby... Uh, I, I'm, I'm kind of questioning North's pick here. Uh, honestly, like, they have a lot of AP. And... That's not good. Uh, they only have one, like, AD champ. Like basically, Echo and Rise has to basically burst the other, the backline, or else like there's nothing you can do. Like Vladimir could just honestly just get a Spirit Visage and GGs. It's like their draft is a kind of questionable. It just how, like they have a really nice team fighting, but like they do have like so many like annoying tanks like Garen, Warwick, Vladimir, and their team comp kind of revolves around like them like. Right, like they right. have a lot of pick potential with like more bind, rice, like snare, stuff like that. But like, they, all they have to do is just build like five merc treads and it's GG. Right, right. And now we're going to be heading into intermission. And we will see you guys back when we get into the game.
Cause stop us, they'll try, but they won't Ay, nada nos puede parar Welcome to the game, the quarterfinals. You already know. We have like, exciting, it's going to be exciting, best of three. You already know. It's going to be like TSM versus C9. It's going to be LCS level. You already know. I hope we can find like a nice best of three game uh, coming from both teams. Defi definitely, definitely. And we do what see the stack. Probably at least two people. What? Grouping or like stacking the pixel rush area. And we do see a regular five point or semi regular five point from Churchill. Nice, nice. Good defense, good defense. Not allowing any kind of offensive plates happen. Nice defense. But, you know, you already know. You got like. Echo Jungle versus Warwick. Warwick, honestly, like, oh my goodness, how many people are taking Conquer? Oh, uh, wow. Graves oh taking a Grasp, actually. He's going to be super tanky later once he procs those Grasp procs, honestly. So, wait, Echo has Conquer, Rise has Conquer. I can see Rise having Conquer being much better, but I don't understand what uh, Echo having Conquer. 
I mean, he could kind of stack it up kind of easily, maybe. It's not going to be that good, though. No. I feel like. I mean, the more tankier he gets, the easier he procs it, since, like, he's not going for burst. Honestly, it's kind of smart, considering they don't have a lot of, like, burst damage. Mmm, true. Like, all these champs that they have, Garen, Warwick, Vladimir. Like, those three champs are just more, like, sustained fighting, so Echo could just proc, proc as a Conqueror easily. So honestly, that's that's kind of a better rune to take, actually, compared to mm -hmm. something like Dark Harvest or Electric Q. Right, but it's going to be quite hard for him to what, snowball now, since he is going Conqueror, instead of, like, the classic Dark Harvest or Electric Q. And you're absolutely 100% correct. As always, Johnny Ma, I can always expect you to always input your intellectual thoughts into this match. Yet again, you've done it again. Nah. So, we do see Senna and Zara poking them quite hard. And quite even across the board for now. Top lane or getting pushed in, that's kind of expected since it's a range versus a melee champion. Just a little bit stalling and Warpo coming up from Zara using her plants. We're gonna take Scuttle and actually back. Uh, he's both sides of the jungle still hasn't taken their Krugs yet, and uh, that's kind of iffy, honestly. I think Krugs is a pretty. Oh, he's spotted by the ward, but Zara is still being super aggressive. Um, yeah, Warwick's just clear is just honestly more more stronger since it's Warwick and Echo's Echo. Right, and you're saying what about the Krux? Krux is pretty strong. Honestly, I think it's better to like go red, Krux, then uh then Raptors. I think they nerfed it, but I still think it's really strong. Uh right. since like most people take like uh talisman now. Instead of a machete, like Warwick, I can understand, since, uh, but he has kind of good sustain, so I want him to go towards uh, Krux soon, but it's whatever. Yeah, it is quite iffy that he didn't choose to go for Krux, instead he just went straight down his, to his blue side. And he is still quite healthy. Miss Binding from Morgana. A poke from Zeno. So yeah, oh, mining lands. So yeah, you Late were saying flash. that Krux did get nerfed, but I didn't. I don't think it's that much or that big of a deal, at least. And would they convert oh. the gank into a kill? A flash comes out. Warwick does fear, and act, nobody dies. That, that patience off of Vladimir honestly pays off. He gets to keep his uh, flash and. Uh... Echo burns his flash for basically nothing, but honestly, he was unlucky with that. Oh! Burns the flash this time now. Unfortunate. Oh, Binding Lands. But Morgana W does miss. The stun does come, but they will get not much out of it. So, what, who do you think will have the better laning phase for each team or at least each row north has better um better mid better top and ball lanes uh it's basically it's gonna be even once they go for their first backs it's just because they had this uh, morgana if she builds down it just has insane wave clear so it doesn't matter if they don't have an adc the uh, just morgana w could probably just take down a uh, the caster minions at the back, uh, and then honestly, it's just the jungle. Honestly, jungle is going to be a huge, uh, huge role in this early game for for Churchill's side. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. or? I see. What What are your thoughts on this then? Well, for me, it's basically what you said, but I really don't know about the bot lane, honestly, since it's quite off. Wait, off meta or not meta, and it's quite weird. You know, we did see them play it before. I just we we don't have that much info on what Tarek and Morgana bought. 
That's a duel. Mm. Thank you for your insight. Mm -hmm. Insightful knowledge. Johnny Ma spinning facts yet again. Spinning straight facts, spinning the uh, spinning straight bars, yo. Oh, and Echo does go for the gank, but unable to turn it into a kill. Does get a pretty good amount of damage down, but unfortunately, Garen's passive would just heal it straight back up with the health pot and Dorn shield. Work work in there. actually. Oh, teleport coming out. Nine lands goes in for the flash EQ and work's gonna die. First blood going over the graves. Uh, Morgana also dies, uh, being bursted down by three members of the uh, traditional side. Teleport comes out coming from Rise and he gets out. Uh, flash in, but Root does not land. Tark also gets away with a flash. One for one. So the thing I do want to point out is that. I think Warwick thought he could get something more, but he just flashed straight into the Graves auto. So, unfortunately, they are down a summoner because of that. But, yeah, the first blood does go over to north, as you said. Garen opting to buy the Stinger, actually, instead of going for Phage. Honestly, it's kind of an iffy buy there. I honestly think Phage is better overall, but... Fine lands with the with the with her Morgana's W, just poking uh, Zyra out for a bit. Well, the thing is that you do gotta know that Garen does have Conquer, and his E does spin more. Was it longer or does more damage with attack speed? Honestly, yeah, you're right. Honestly, I should retract my statement. And we're going in for the gank for oh, lands the R, and that's gonna be one that graves. But he could get up with a flash and an E. Pretty good, really good gank from Warwick. Does force the flash out. Opening up the map quite more. And I don't think Grace will be able to help this Echo out at blue. Oh, blue buff going over to Echo actually. This might be a kill actually. But they're not going for it. And we do see that Warwick and does get out. Even when Graves rotates. And a bot is quite pushed. Ooh. Quite a sh action pack this game is. Garen goes in, gets a kill up, but does not get anything else. Yeah, that's great. I want to point out that Grace still hasn't bought any items yet. How much gold does he have? He has around, what, 2k? And he still hasn't backed. Interesting. And what, I believe he teleported down to bot lane, right? Yes. For that skirmish? Right. So, it's kind of iffy because what... He still hasn't went back, grab an item, still have the health pot, and it's gonna be quite hard for him to get back and do much damage. And a kill does go out for Senna! The Biden lands, but he doesn't get anything else. And we do see a three people bot lane. I assume they're just gonna go for plate and back. Rise and Echo is roaming down. But does not go for anything. I want to talk about the gold actually uh, right now. Uh, Rise is actually behind a uh, three hundred gold, while uh, like Marlene's actually super behind right now. Uh, altogether, both of them they're behind in total about maybe nine hundred gold. Which is kind of big, but it's kind of understandable since they're both supports in the bot lane, no ADC. And what Morgana does have what reduced gold when he kills a minion because of yeah. what spell thieves. 
Honestly, kind of a bad buy there. Should have honestly opted in for maybe Dorans. That goes goes in. Will he get the kill? And they do get the kill onto Senna. And they're going to keep chasing down. Will they get another kill? Will they got another kill on Zyra going over to Morgana? Will they get the Warwick dog? That's a real thing. They get the stun, but it doesn't go for anything else. And they might just convert it into a drag. Alt drag, that's kind of big. So it's a wind drag. So it's pretty... It's really good for... What is it? Burn being north. With that 10% CDR. And we do see... But the thing I want to point out that... Gray's first back was a black cleaver straight up. What do you think would how that would do against Garen in lane? Nothing. Nothing? Honestly, it's nothing. Uh, it's just gonna be farm lane. Until he manages to get more attack speed, there's nothing that Graves can do. Garen's just gonna be too tanky. This thing he pops W, there's nothing he can do. Maybe he can poke him out, but that's about it. He won't get the kill unless Gra uh, Garen plays it, just misplays something. Right, even with what Black Cleaver first buy, he's still not gonna have enough attack speed to proc the Black Cleaver to get it. What all five stacks, I believe. So it's not going to do much. Graves actually sneaking the Drift Herald. No vision on that. Thing is, Graves also didn't know that there was no vision. I. He did not have a red, uh, he did not have a control ward, or he didn't have anything, so... Oh! Well, he got Flash killed. In. Wait, that... And one they trade. One. So, a pretty interesting dive, I'd say. Just... For their minions... In the, what, the turret range? Uh, I think what happened was, uh, actually Graves landed the, the smoke screen and Graves didn't, I mean, uh, Garen didn't get vision on, uh, he lost vision on Graves, Garen, when he ulted, so then uh... he didn't ult. If, if, I think that if that was the case, the, his ult will go off the first cast, instead he had to cast it again. Uh, but that, like, that moment of hesitation cost him the kill because he couldn't get out, even with the flash. I think he flashed in, actually, uh... I don't see, remember. I and I do want to point out that Sir Winston Churchill does have has a lot of vision at their bot side. So I'm just gonna assume that they're gonna try to do something around bot side within what the next two or three minutes. Since their bot turret is getting low. And the next drake is Mountain. So let's see if Churchill can actually take this drag and deny them from getting what a 4 0 drag. Oh, gank going in top though. This, uh, the fear into the, uh, the, uh, infinite duress lands, but Graves is already tanky enough with the E. This gets out. Uh, Stun comes out, Targo comes out, the Ignite comes out, and Zyra will die. A bit over, or stepping over, too hard from Death Trapper. Oh, Telfer coming in actually from Graves. Looks like they're just trying to push a uh, bot tower. They're trying to get first tower gold. And I think, yeah, they're using the rift and just trying to go for the turret straight up. And I do want to note that. I personally, I say that Rift isn't too important in this patch, at least, since what the Dragon Soul has way more impact than the Rift now, since it has lower HP and, as you believe, damage, right? Yeah. Or it takes more damage. It takes more damage, yeah. Well, War so, coming in. Vlad and Warwick is here, so let's see if they do try to do something. Vladdy does connect, but is unable to convert it to something else. Ooh boy. Zara does land the root, 
gets the W and Q, but will be unable to get the kill since they're quite out of vision. Santa does land it all, but is unable to kill him. An unfortunate turn of events. I'm checking the gold. Uh, that's kind of surprising that Morgana is behind basically 40 CS, but is up 400 gold. Probably due to the fact that she has an extra kill and assist over Senna. Right, and what that spell thieves is getting her quite a lot of gold. Dragon spawning right now though. So uh, they do have vision onto the Drake, but will they use this gold for it? Teleport oh, is up on Graves, I mean Garen though, so... This could yeah. easily turn into a 4v5 unless Graves rotates now, which he is. And we did see what Orvik go to their blue instead of trying to do something. Oh. Orvik jumps in onto the Graves. Echo W comes out but does not stun anybody. Echo dashes out. It's unable to connect and kill anyone. Echo might be forced to back here. And they are teleporting for no reason too. Yeah, and, and they do start to drag. And that's Mountain Drake going over to Churchill's side. Wow, flashing with the R. And Morgana gonna land a snare. Uh, he's stunned on two people, and they're just fighting their fights in two different sections. But Garen lands the R, and that's gonna be a kill onto Graves. And this Warwick flashes in. That fight just went south for. We're gonna be north here. Land snare uh, roots, and that's not gonna be enough damage though. <laughs> and he just doesn't take anything from Zyra, and it's, he is able to get away. So we do see what Ocean is coming out. They both have one dragon each, so this is quite neutral so far. Let's see if what they can try to get all four right the other three drags and turn it into a soul. Quite unlucky for North in that fight. That was honestly, uh... Yeah, like I said, they just don't have enough, uh... Like... If you see, uh... Four people on their team. Garen, Merc Treads. Orc Merc Treads, Vladimir Merc Treads, Senna Merc Treads, they just have so much, um, either they're already tanky enough with Vladimir building uh, AP which turns into uh, health, and like Garen just being overall tanky and like work having the E damage reduction, and they already have Merc Treads on top of that, the instant Graves is dead, there's no uh, attack damage coming up from north side. So that's why, honestly, I think they lost that fight because Graves just got bursted down right away. There's nothing he could do. So I'm actually getting caught out. And the and R lands. Good R from Graves, able to pick Zara out. Bit stepping quite over to their not. Well, it's not their territory anymore. So Warwick does have the W, it's not able to get anything, but we'll see the scent of Echo. I'm trying to steal this red actually, uh, will he though? It's kind of risky since there's four other people, oh my goodness. He's Miss gonna get caught. Out. He's caught out here, he does, oh he uses the R to get out. So now what are they gonna do without the Warwick R? I just assume that they're gonna try to do something with Zara to root. Oops, time doesn't land. Oh my goodness, and they they're going in. Get stunned. Nice fight coming up for North. Rise picking up the double kill with the EQ. So much damage coming up from him. Uh, 
Garen R lands onto Echo, killing him. I before he even got gets a chance to actually uh, Chrono break out. Oh my goodness, and the damage from Rise is insane. Already finished that uh, Seraph's Embrace. Like how much like he has insane amount of damage with that Conqueror, He's healing up everything. Oh, it's just popping off. And gets oh another kill onto Zyra. Well, they this Rise is that. insane. This can be. He can be tamed holy. Gary trying to go the in. fast combo. Gets Man. another one. Rise. Honestly, that was a pentakill. That was an unofficial pentakill. Just honestly, just like. Five kills. Four rise. This rise is super strong. Already picking up from first back. He already bought himself a Morella Morellicon. Morella Nomicon, actually. Uh, that's an. That's. That's nice, since considering they do have a lot of healing coming from Conquer and champs like Vladimir and Warwick. And I assume that they are gonna try to go for a Baron control, I believe. Since either Baron or Joy control. And we do see their attention is going to the bot lane. Or Shrek. Honestly, I, if I was, if I was North, I'd really trade the Ocean Drag just to get uh, Baron. Honestly, they have so much pressure with Rise that they could just honestly. But since they're so strong already, they don't even need to trade it. They could just go for this dragon, and there's nothing that North can really, I mean Churchill can really do. And what they just sawn them off, so they're unable to contest. Oh, Rise are coming out, and five man teleport with the Shirelias lands the E, and that's one dead Zyra in a blink of an eye. So Vladimir would just get away from all of that, but they have no Zyra. That's Ooh. basically one big. Oh, that's one huge damage. Uh, I mean, not damage. A uh, team fight all up there. Vladimir lands the R, and then Zyra just goes in with the R and knocks up everyone. That's basically a team by one. But right, they don't have that. And they might just convert this into a Baron. But Warwick does have Alt N, but he doesn't have Smite, so let's see what happens. He gets the fear off. Tariq Alt does come out. Who will die? Warwick dies. Senna Alt does get used, but I don't think that would do anything. Vlad does Zanyas. Morgana does go down. Vladimir goes down from Tarek, and will Rise get another kill? They're going straight for Senna, and Echo might just die from his flash E. Rise does is still there and does get the kill. Tarek dies from the Garen, and will that be it, or will they keep chasing for more kills? And it seems like they are both resetting, but Baron will not go down. Oh my goodness, uh, that, that fight, honestly, Ryze just didn't do much there. It was kind of like, held off, like, held from the team fight there, um, from the later stages. Not much he could have done, uh, that he did, actually, uh. I think Senna, Shroud, you can't target it, right? Uh. Only if you get into her, what, smokes and stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, so then that means... That kind of counters Rise hard. It was I mean, all only, about that E. Yeah, but only one person has to be in the range in order for her to, what, be seen. Oh, okay. And skill shot does connect, but it's just unfortunate that Rise couldn't do anything. Looking to clear vision. And set up their own vision around Baron. Echo and actually fine. So even though Baron is up, Echo is bot. Cheat, like matching Garen. I don't think that's quite a smart move. We do see Warwick here, but we'll not try to go for the red buff steal. They're looking to get Garen actually. I don't know about this play. They could honestly trade Baron for that play, but luckily they do not engage on that. 
So yeah, they don't start the Drake even though they do see two bot, I believe. And they might just Garen might just go for a, a tier two tower here. If they don't match him right now. And Garen does have teleport, which Graves does not. W parallel uh parallel parallel convergence lands. Uh doesn't land I mean. And they're going in for fight, uh, going in for the fight. Tark uh, uses his R, and that's a that's that might be one that. Uh, never mind. And Vladimir just heals up all the damage. Oh my goodness! And I'm living once, way too long. There's nothing they could do. And Demacia comes out on to rise. Misplay coming out from Graves. Honestly, he should have been already at the fight. Who like? What they should have done there is that they should have five man Baron or started it, baited it at least, and then maybe win a team fight and then maybe pick up Baron. I'd say trade in hip tower for Baron, but now they lost the Baron in now and they just died four for zero. Churchill coming out on top. And as you said, Echo does offer what the Iceborne instead of going more damage. Interesting what second item, but let's see how that works out for him since he is one in four. Garen going oh. in for just the wave clear. Doesn't do enough damage with just only the uh, Phantom Dancer and Trinity Force. Not enough damage, honestly. But once he gets the, uh, the Infinity Edge, that's gonna be one scary Garen. Mm hmm And they are both teams attention is going on to ocean and I believe that Churchill has what wind No Churchill has mountain and ocean and North has wind drag if I'm not mistaken and they will both contest the ocean drag Echo is Ooh, able to get the drag and gets out immediately. I think that's three drags over to blue side, I think. Yep, you are correct. It is... it was... what, what was it again? It was Ocean Drake. So what, they'll get that 3% healing, I believe? If they get one more... Uh, which one more ocean drag will spawn they should honestly fight for this ocean drag is really stupid strong once they get it rise just ease on one person heals back his whole hp bar thank you riot and garen just damn this is already being tanky and strong just split pushing for days with the baron buff too and just fast nothing they can do except for just clear the waves and that's it Right, right. And what, they're just gonna contest for the turret. And Garen is bot. So, they are gonna, what, give up the tier 2 tower. And they might just split their attention, too. Yeah, I don't, I honestly can't find, uh, what dragons they have. Mm-hmm. But I believe the dragons are what two to two. I think it's three to two, three to one. Mm, no, I think what Churchill has mountain and ocean. And oh, I think North has what wind and ocean. I'm not too sure. We I could be wrong. Anyways, if they if this is gonna be North's, uh, if they do, North has three dragons, uh, and if they do, they should honestly focus on this drag, which spawns in about two minutes and forty five seconds. And rise, and honestly, just like look at that wave clear coming in for rise. Nothing they can, like just EQ and the wave, the whole wave's gone. Yep, they're doing the same thing for one.
And what we do see north, majority of their attention is at the bot side jungle. Meanwhile, Graves is pushing up top and trying to get the next tower. So they can open up the map quite, or even more. Baron is gone for Churchill's side. That means they do not have a strong... They do lose a bit of their pushing power right now. And just Ryze can just clear that whole wave. Right now, they need to find a pick going onto Ryze since most of their damage is coming from that Ryze, EQ, and... Ryze is almost actually full build. Probably looking towards his... Uh, to his, uh, towards his Rabidon cap. Um, he does have a thousand gold right now, so he only needs about a thousand more in order to get that Rabidon, and that's gonna be a huge power spike coming from him. Mm-hmm. But even though he does have what as much magic pen as he can get, it's not gonna do much for him. But that death cap will be a change in both teams favor and but the pressure is quite equal right now or well, for now at least you know what I'm surprised about yeah that what Churchill's top tower for tier 1 is still up I feel like they could have got that quite a while ago I mean Garen's there Garen's Garen so but how much like he already has two MR items. That Garen's just gonna be stupid tanky. There's nothing that Ryze can really do, except for just be Ryze and just machine gun spam him. True, he could what just do what, full combo, but it's not gonna do much onto Garen. Since he does have a dap up now. It's gonna be basically they're gonna have to wait, Ocean Drag's actually spawning in about 10 seconds, they have to look towards this. If this is their fourth dragon, and because, yeah, yeah, this game is gonna be a what quite hell of a ride to from this point on. Oh, he actually steals it! Oh my goodness, he actually steals it. And they do have the four drags, and that's the ocean soul coming out from four Burning North, and they're just gonna be healing a lot of damage right now. Their team, uh, actually, Morgana going down, but Zyra also going down. Graves going in, lands a nice R. And Ryze is spitting out damage from the back line. Burst down Senna. Vi uh, Roar going to be uh, going down soon. Flash for Flash, and that's going to be a stun. And fear it away, though. They're not going to catch up to him anymore. But that's one destroyed Churchill team. They just managed to pinch them off. A lot of coordination from North. Matt props to rise using what is all just to pinch them off so they couldn't escape and they do manage to secure the baron baron picked up actually also uh doesn't get picked up by the morgue honestly that's kind of that's kind of a sad moment there Ooh, they could have waited maybe for a bit more but since they did have the whole uh Red side jungle, uh, red top side jungle worded actually. Right, right. And what a turn of events that this game has gone. And, but the top tower, the top turret does go down during what that fight, I believe. Now it's spinning some numbers right now. Uh, um, rise. Has 90, 90, uh, 956 AP right now uh, with both Potion and Baron. But once he does stack his uh, his Conqueror, he does get 50 uh, ability power. So he probably has more than a thousand once he gets a uh, full stack Conqueror. And this one EQ would probably like could probably maybe one shot Senna. I don't know about that, but basically, if Ryze just lands an EQ on any of them, except for like maybe Garen. That's gonna be like one dead, like that's gonna be one dead member on Churchill's side. Mm -hmm. 
and they are gonna try to siege this and Graves is going top. Garen will go to match, but I don't see that how that's that going to help them. Rice is popping off and chunks Vlad very low and is able to get the turret. Senna also very low. 200 members actually almost zero to death right there. Just off of like one Rice combo and they're gonna have to back off right now. Both have to back. Senna actually not backing and opting to stay. That's gonna be very dangerous for her. They're just looking to siege the tower. Graves pushing in also. And Inhibitor goes down. Zyra all lands, but only knocks up two people. Work ults out, and oh my goodness, and the snare comes out. And they're looking to fight right now. They do have the invincibility down right now from Tark's R. Morgana does go down, but Ryze is spinning damage right now. Once he gets in range, there he goes, EQ, and that's almost one dead Ryze right now. Oh my goodness, burst down the Zyra. Echo goes in, and that's going to be one dead work off of the Graves E. The quick draw. And they might as well just close out this game right now. So maybe game one will go over to North if we are not mistaken. Oh and my goodness, that device damage. Rise is just popping off way too hard. And that's it. That's GG's to North. Carried by Rise, honestly. That Rise was honestly just hard carrying. 10, 2, and 9. Having basically a 10 CS per minute. That game. Basically. Insane. Looking on his damage right now, uh, Basically, he doubled his whole team's damage, and the only person that came close to that was Zyra, actually. Was it really Zyra? Yes, it was. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's quite scary to see that neither Vladimir or Senna is able to match up with Ryze's damage, but Zyra, having the most damage on her team, is quite weird to me well anyways that is a good game coming from north taking it in this series 1-0 over churchill one one more game for north like that and that's ggs and right now we're going to be going into intermission so we can set up for game two Now is your time, so prove yourself 
It's deep in your blood, go and take it This is your moment Take to the skies, go Prove yourself and Welcome back for the game two of North versus Churchill. As always, we are your hosts, Johnny. And Sarek or Samuel Park, you already know. Johnny, talk to me, please. So what do you want to talk about, bro? You want to talk oh, about like this game or, or what they're trying to ban this game? The bads, please. Hit it to me. Give the straight well, facts. Of course, they're going to try to ban rise for sure since he's been popping off last game so to see what luck's coming out from what north this is a bit weird to me when they could have banned what senna or vlad Your is and Tarek does come out as a ban so my two bans that i would have banned for churchill would have been what that zara and that garen since they did play pretty well, but for North, they already banned the two champions that I was gonna talk about, anyways. Yeah, at this point, I think uh, Churchill's gonna start banning the whole uh, the whole last game's team from North. They already got Ryzen, uh, Tarek. Maybe we might see a Morgana ban now. Right, right. And a Nocturne ban does come out again. So this time they're not focusing too hard on North's jungler. But instead this time they are taking out that Ryze, Tarek, and Nocturne. Instead of targeting that one person. And North will take out Lux, Darius, and Morgana. So, what will they pick first? Do you have any guesses you want to put out? Yeah, so, no, I mean, um, no, I'm sorry, um, wrong choice. Hecarim, actually. Hecarim, all right. We're about to see that 10 minute par spike when he gets a Triforce or Trinity Force. What do you think? Uh, name some counters. Uh, well, the almighty J Johnny Ma. 
Well, right now, I don't know too much about counters for each champion, but I do know that they sh for North, they should pick some type of early and aggressive jungler like Olaf or Echo. Both are good choices, and they do have what the not to counter it. Damn, smart! Listen, damn, that guy. Oh, oh my goodness. Johnny's spitting straight facts yet again. And they do go with Nautilus and Nami. So I'm gonna say this is like the Morgana and Tarek bot, but with Nautilus and Nami. What about Doinbio? yo? Thought about that. Hey, I mean, sorry. I... Sorry for questioning your uh, your analysis. Well, if I remember correctly, I didn't see what Violetics, if that's how you say his summoner name, play what not mid, if I'm not mistaken. Mundo? Do... Mundo, alright. Not bad pick, not bad pick, but I'm gonna assume that goes to top instead of what Hecarim top. And dude, they do pick the Echo, so it's probably what Mundo top and Echo mid, and Hecarim eight what jungle. Last pick from Phase One, going um. I wonder what North's gonna pick right now. I think they might pick the jungler right now. No, I should have been later. As time runs out, they select Malphite. So with Malphite, they definitely do get the unstoppable what's it unstoppable charge or force? I don't remember. But they do have quite well, well, the thing with that I'm seeing right now that Churchill is stuck in the place out where they have to play as a team, where North it just keeps going in and in, getting those ganks off, and then just pushing those leads ahead instead of team fights. Cassin going banned, uh, banned out for the mid laner. <laughs> Which honestly is a smart pick, uh, ban I mean, uh, <laughs> Bio Biothetics, Soul carried that last game, 1v9 that with his rise, I mean, Tark did help with his R's and stuff, but that rise has spit out damage, it's EQ, 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 and honestly, that did too much damage and all of uh, Churchill just honestly fell at that point. Yasuoban going out, actually. Probably for the millionaire yet again. Mm hmm. So, this is going to be quite a turn of events, which I didn't think that they would ban Kassinet and Yasuo, or Senate and Zyra. Quite weird picks, but let's see what Rakonda picks. It's the Rumble. I say he's pretty, what, a hidden pocket pick, or pretty strong right now. What do you think about Rumble? Decent chap. Works in sometimes. Works sometimes, though. Sometimes it doesn't. So you're Good saying team what, fight, though. A, are you saying it's a coin flip? Pretty much. I see. It doesn't matter, though, honestly. They just have a disgusting team fight. Look at that. Malphite, Nami, Rumble, Nautilus. So, Kaisa and Brand does get picked for their bot lane. And what will the last pick be for North? Ooh! It's, it's a Zed or Bed. Chat type in Zed or Bed. It's Zed. Ooh, okay. <laughs> So it's a Zed, who has a Malphite jungle. Damn, alright. So it is going to be not a Nami bot. And what do you think what 
it's gonna happen in the wild lane since it's quite aggressive for both laners except for uh, i think kaisa kaisa is just gonna farm but i think what do you think the other three is gonna do are we talking about bot lane yep uh, they better get an early lead or else um brands is gonna honestly like they don't have a lot of damage that's the thing like True. they have a lot of overtime damage, I guess, with like Nautilus maybe. Or maybe I'm just underestimating Nautilus damage. I don't know. I haven't seen Nautilus bot at all. So I wonder how this works out. I think you what he's just gonna go what straight to AP instead. And I don't think what Kaisa and Renz can be ready for that AP Nautilus damage. And what they I think what Malphite's gonna go AP so it's going to be quite a bit of damage coming from Malphite also. So, as we have spectator delay, as always, we're going to go into intermission. And we'll see you once we get back into the game.
All right, welcome back as we uh, get into game two of this best of three series. I'm your casters, as always. We're your casters, Sarek and Johnny. And you already know it. They're already stacking Pixel Push. Oh my goodness, looking for an invade. Nautilus does have a great invade. Oh my goodness, and they're spotted out, actually. So it looks like they're going to keep going in. But as we know that this game is going to be a do or die for Churchill. So let's see what happens. Will they succeed or will they go out? And we do see what Zed and who is it? Malphite going back. And they do stack the Raptor Bush. Just in case if they try to do something sneaky. What are your thoughts about uh which side do you th uh, is gonna win? Like since it's kind of an important jungle meta still, what lane do you think uh, both uh, junglers should uh, impact or focus on? Well, since what? Dragon's the most important right now. And we do... It is Hecarim versus not, uh, Malphite. I would assume that Hecarim would start his blue, so he would be able to, to fight this Malphite instead. But I think what? Hecarim is going to try to like force something mid if possible, or rumble. And Malphite will try to do something once he gets a rush of 6 to for bot lane. Because it's going to be quite hard for not and Nami to do something against those two. Mm, smart. But yeah, so they... Hecarim does opt for Krugs and Raptors. And quite aggressive coming out from Xeno. Good damage coming out, but... Nami is chunked quite a bit. Balling already being pushed in, but that's what you expect when you uh, draft in two supports Balling against like a, like a support champion like Brand and also Kai'Sa. Mm -hmm. That's just, honestly, it's gonna be like they're just gonna get slowly chipped down and down, or at least the tower will, since they do have a Nami. It's gonna keep on healing up. Yep, it's the same as last game, but it is working out for North. But let's see how these two champions go this time. Decent pull coming out. Nami is chunked even lower. And the CS difference, the difference is getting up there. So since we have time, what do you think is likely going to happen around the 10 minute mark or when the first strike spawns? Uh, honestly, it's they're gonna get a. Everyone's gonna have their alt by then. Uh, I honestly see right now um, this echo just being. Pretty much bullied in lane with the WEQ, but then it's up to Hecarim just like to find the right opportunity to gank. Uh, I think that once he uses the WEQ, but who knows? Mm -hmm. Once they have R, I think honestly they just have an insane team fight with just four other champions. Like I said, Rumble, Malphite, Nautilus, and Nami. They just stack their alts on each other and. Goodbye to Churchill. Hmm. All right. Yep. I think once everyone's alts comes up, I say with alts, North get the slight advantage. But you know, Hecarim is quite an early game champion with Ghost, so maybe not. And we do see what the CS lead is keep rocking up, but Zed has the 10 CS lead, making up for a bot lane CS. So it is an Ocean Drake. They're gonna get the 3% healing, whoever gets it. And. That's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Brand is able to get that poke out onto Nami. Chunking her quite low. Or even lower than she is. Or than she was. If I can even speak. Hecarim's gonna come in. Does not get the hook. And Nami's forces flash. He does use the ghost and Castle will get it with the missiles. Unable to get anything else. But it's just unfortunate that Nautilus couldn't get a hook off onto Hecarim. And especially with that ghost being used, they weren't ready for that speed to come through. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Um, like, uh, Nami just doesn't like. It's Nami, super squishy, and just Hecarim just has so much damage coming in with that uh, ghost, fully charged. Mhm. Mm so now we see. Hecarim with about, I believe, 2k gold in total. So he's most likely gonna what, go for, honestly, his jungle item, right? Or Trinity Force, so he can get that 10 minute pop off, at least. Electric Hoot does trade with Zed. Going equal. And does get the stun and his W does go off onto Nami. Chunking quite low and forced to use he her heals or her pots, I believe. Balin in such a bad position right now. Um in general right now. Uh right now like there's so many minions pushing in, like basically this bot lane from Churchill can just freeze this whole wave and there's not much that Nami and Nautilus can do. Mm -hmm. Nami doesn't have any good single target damage. Um, has only the Q, I believe, as like a wave to damage the minions. W does not affect it. E only applies a little bit of damage. And basically, they're not just not going to pick up much of this farm. Right, right. And since what Nami is mostly healing, it's not going to do too much damage also unless what she's forced to go full AP but I doubt that she will go full AP and that Kasa also has tier and pickaxe already top Mundo. just farming right now yep Mundo looking like he has aimbot but yeah he's landing all his Q's so far Mid lane right now actually creating a bit of a CS lead right now. Uh, basically, at a 15 CS lead right now. Oh, actually 16 now. His leads, I think, is his arms going to keep on going, uh, growing bigger. I think. In a 1v1, is that just honestly is just discussing 1v1s? Not much Echo can really do. Mm hmm. The bubble does land, the TP is coming in from Rumble. Will they be able to get something? The hook does land. Killer Instinct comes out, the barrier comes out, and they both will go down. Double kill, double kill picked up by Nautilus. Great TP coming in. Great teamwork Not... coming from North. Nautilus getting that double kill, uh, it's not the best choice here, but double kill is a double kill. Oh, this is going to be more tanky, that's going to be more helpful, but... Churchill going in for the smite, and he actually... The, the, and Hecarim managed to steal the, uh, the dragon, but that's going to be one dead Hecarim. And... Echo going to take actually down the... The Malphite, and that's going to be a one for one right now. With the dragon taken, but flash in with the Q, and that might be one dead Echo. But they do manage to pick up... The dragon steal. Which is nice. Does interrupt the recall, but only gets a little bit of gold for that effort. And they will reset. And Kaisa and Bran will keep pushing. So that Dragon Seal is quite something, but as we all know, that one dragon doesn't mean too much until they get all four. I'm actually opting to go the um, 
Instead of going for Trinity first, first he actually goes for Cinderhawk. It's quite usual in like what solo queue, but I think what as team oriented with comms, I would have thought he would have went Warrior and Trinity Force. But of course, he they are gonna need the early game damage. And Malphite is here, the TP is gonna come from Mundo, or was it Echo? No, it's Mundo. Nami and Brand dies. Malphite picks up a kill and Brand gets the kill onto Nami. A one for one trade, and it is neutral. Well, even though being up uh, three kills north, they only do have a three kill uh, advantage right now. That's probably due to the fact that bot lane just can't farm at all, and Kaisa is just getting more and more gold as the match goes on. Right now, um, all three supports in the bot lane, uh, Nami, Not, and Bran, they do have about equal gold right now, both in like the very low 3Ks, but Kaisa actually has uh, 4K right now, so bot lane in, uh, for Churchill just has 1K extras on Kaisa. Just because of the farm. Oh, it lands the Q. The dredge line lands and goes into bubble, and they're just stacking up CC on CC. That might be one that Kaisa. That is. Shut down. Again, picks up. Nautilus picks up the kill, but on the other side of the map, Hecarim is able to pick up two kills onto Malphite and Rumble. And they might just go for the Rift Herald right now. Brand doing a good job of stalling this out so they can't get any plates whatsoever. And they will pick up the Rift Herald. Hecarim's going in. Zed does use his ult and that burst takes down Hecarim. Echo might just go down if Malphite decides to chase. And Nami is going, gonna go down, and Echo goes down. The unstoppable, what, force or whatever it's called, does hit. And, and that's Mundo. one dead Mundo. He's unable to regen all that damage coming out from Zed since he already has Dust Weight. But they do manage to turn that fight around. This is that just that am I who am I watching? Is this LL stylish? I know. Picking up three kills for himself with already 400 gold bounty, being 1,500 gold over this echo right now. Like I said, this this Zed is just gonna pop off and already taking mid lane by a huge like huge lead. And they do get the first tower at bot. And. It does look like what LL Stylish is playing for Violetic or, or Violetics or whatever you say his name. It does look like someone else is playing on his account because he's playing so well. Now this is what I like to see. Zed actually going for the the Sanguine Blade and just looking for those 1v1s. That's gonna at least force two people to come towards him, which is already good since they already they like the team fight a lot, so uh that means that it's gonna relieve so much pressure off of like maybe future team fights when Zed solo pushes. Infernal actually being down right now. And that goes for goes for a little bit of burst, but they do trade in the same amount of health. Just unable to make this Zed go away, but Hecarim goes on to not, but will he get something out of it? Righteous Glory doesn't do much. Death Charge comes out. He hooks the wall. Managed to get away. Zed ults. Does get brand. Gets a shutdown. Will Mundo die? He pops the ult. Hecarim goes in. Mundo dies. Malphite dies. Hecarim dies. Rumble is just gonna pop off. Misses the hook. And Kaisa will go down. Zed gets a triple kill and they will go for this Infernal Drag right now. Oh my goodness, and just this Zed is just popping off. 
there's not there's like not much that Churchill can actually do. We're looking at a 6 OZ with actually a 50 CS lead over this Echo. This is it's just picking up more and more leads right now. And right now, Burnaby North with a 2k gold lead with the Infernal Dragon boosting more of Zed's AD, so boosting more of Rumbles and Malphite's uh, Rumbles AP too. Their team fights is gonna be super strong. Yeah, what is this? Are we seeing Doin B and what Faker playing on the same account or LL Stylish on the same team at least? This does not seem right at all. Ooh. Just clean escape from coming out from Nautilus. And then Zed just managing to get three kills or triple kill onto Churchill. What a turn of events. Rift Herald lands onto the mid lane, chunking it down up for half. And Rumble immediately teleporting back to top after buying some items right now. Right, and but there, there was no plates, or plates weren't active, or it was deactivated. So they don't get much out of it. Harold actually spawning in about less than two minutes right now. Um, They could look to get another Herald. I mean, uh, they could look to get the second Herald for Earth. They do have a really strong team fight, like I keep on repeating. But like, it's so strong, it's so nutty. Mm hmm. But it's only the beginning of the game, let's see what happens towards the second half of the game now. Instead, looking for that split push with the Sanguine, look how he's just taking down that tower. He's just tearing it up. Oh Especially my with sang like Sanguine's blade, he's able to get that extra attack speed bonus. Even if someone gets. Or one of them goes down. Or Echo goes looking to stop the match. push actually, but not much he can actually do in a it's a 1v1 situation. And I believe what Zed will get extra attack speed because of uh, Echo going down and matching him. Uh, actually, uh, interrupting that, uh, Sanguine Blade already activates, it only deactivates when there's two people visible. Two oh, enemy really? champions visible, so yeah, so even if he's by himself, um, solo, like no, no one around. Um, basically, it won't deactivate. You, you have to have vision on them. I'm pretty sure. So even if they're invisible and you can't see them, and even if they're in the range, it won't. Uh, it won't deactivate. I it's not kind of really strong. Yeah. And they do go. Up for what the Baron control on the side of Churchill. Let's see what they try to do so now since they have what Baron control. But it seems like they don't find the control word in the pit. Echo, I mean, uh, Zed looking to come mid, uh, probably looking to push that tower. So, it is 715. They're down what? 3k gold lead, I believe. What do you think? What what does Churchill have to do to get back into the game? They might have to honestly sacrifice something. If uh, since that is one of their most biggest uh, threats right now, I'd say like instinct. He you see him like go somewhere else. Immediately go for a team fight. Um, even if he's at like your tower, you might have to sacrifice. Uh, maybe like. Like a tower and a half, maybe, just to win a team fight, and then after that, you could pick up the Baron. But mm. I don't know. Maybe the Zed could honestly just push all the way to like the inhib, and that's super scary. Right, right. And they might just have to what rush for Baron or try to get or what pick out Zed. Oh, so yeah, they're probably just gonna have to pick out Zed and then do something right afterwards, or. They're just gonna let this game go over to north. It, Righteous Glory does come out. Death Charge comes out. Unstoppable Charge. And Kazek goes down immediately. The hook gets onto Bran. Gets knocked away. The Redemption does get onto Nautilus, but doesn't find anything else. 
Zed gets the assassination onto Bran. Look, he did death mark in, lands the E, lands the Q. Uh, it doesn't land the Q, actually, he's not gonna die. Ignite dropped though, but not enough damage coming from the death mark to actually kill the Hecarim. He's looking to push mid though. They're not very they're not very healthy though, but they're just looking to pick up the dragon. Um Hecarim really low and I had to back no smite. That means that's a free dragon pickup coming from north. And right now I think that's her second drag, I believe, Infernal and Mountain. I believe that's actually a third because the next dragon is also mountain. And what we do see what extra all right, different choke points on the map compared to the other map. Right now just everything's just slowing down a bit. Farm clearing vision. Uh honestly they have to right now what I wanna see is uh Is that looking to like Oh and he actually goes in right now, uh one view. And now actually lands the lands the combo onto oh my goodness goes in for double kill and faker oh my goodness just outplaying that whole one yep. boring coming out with two kills like death mark guys gets popped w yeah, e un unfortunately though he does he does drop the 1k gold though oh my goes, goes in, in. That's gonna be won't yep. land it, but Echo will probably go down. Never mind, he walks away in style. But well, Mundo is getting the cleaver damage. And two bubble does go out, but seem like they can't do anything after the unstoppable charge or whatever. Yeah, they just don't have enough damage against like what? The two two members are just tanky, Malphite and Nautilus. With the Nami just healing them, there's not much they can do. They're just gonna heal it up, and Rumble just looking to just push top instead, and just picking up that top tower. Yeah, he's able to pick it up, but again, they can't do anything with Not and Malphite without the damage of Zed or Rumble, since they just they don't have that damage yet, and that Not is going what tank, and. Now they're going to go into the river and hopefully go for Baron Control. Oh my goodness. Set. Oh. Ooh. W E Q Electrocute just honestly just popping that. That was that was disgusting. That was legit a one shot. Kaisa just can't do anything. And that Kaisa just pops like it's nothing. That chunk gets onto Mundo. Death marks on Hecarim. Hecarim will go down. Zed will pick it up. And the Brand Oats just keeps jumping around. Nobody goes down, but Hecarim just gets popped immediately after going in. And they might just go find another tower or do go around and find some more vision. With Zed lurking around. Dragon gonna be spawning in two minutes right now. Um, damn this this. Uh, who got the? Can you remind me who got the Z shut down again? I I will go check real quick. I'm not too sure. I believe it was Echo. Well, that Echo just honestly, even with the 1K, then it's just not just just. Wow, I haven't seen like any of like Churchill's side do anything like significant. It's they just get bursted down by the Zed and like just get like chunked down by like every R from Burnaby North side. There's not much that they can do. Right. They just have to honestly scale to the point where Hecrom and like Mundo could just like heal everything. Kaisa becomes a champion. Things like that. But who knows, maybe they might just close up the game at this point. Right, and Kaisa was doing good early game, but from that early game, she was unable to come back and do something with her gold lead in lane before all the ganks happened. And we do see Malphite on side, gets a charge off, and Kaisa might just go down. 
Rumble is able to get the kill on Kaisa. Echo rewinds and will go down from Zed. Zed gets feared. Hector knocks him back and will go down to Hector. Mundo keeps chasing and Malphite might get away. What a turn of events. And they managed to get another shutdown from onto Zed. They just focused the wrong targets, I believe. They just went after Kaisa and then just went straight onto Echo. And now they just might Churchill might just be able to get the dragon. Not unless Malphite just takes down someone. Or a brand. And that one Q just traveling like a slow missile and Brand just meeting his fate. That Dark Harvest with the with the runic echoes just popped him. Definitely overstayed that a bit too much. Mm -hmm. They're looking to pick up the dragon right now. They're looking to start it actually. They could burst it, they are. Malphite does have R though. I wonder if he's gonna go flash in with R. Oh, nothing. Yeah, definitely they do get this, but the real question is who's gonna get the Baron? Honestly, they could go for it right now. Akram just doesn't have Smite, and if they do have knowledge of that, then they could honestly just go for it. There is no 50 50. And plus, the gold leader is just way too, way too far for uh, North right now. They could just instantly just go for it with the 5v5, and I believe North would just win the fight if they play it according to plan. Zed looking just push bot right now. Smart yeah. play. Just doing his right thing. Now. Yeah, I want to see what I want to see right now is that just like slowly push this up, forcing at least two people to come, and then Burmy North just picking up the uh, Baron right now. There's no one that can actually fight this. Uh, I think this Zed right now. He's twelve and two. Like, like there's no one. Like even if it's like someone tanky, like there's not much you can do. Like look at this death mark, ignite popped. And that damage that... though. Just way too much damage. The fear does go on. Zed might die here, but it's I think TP is going down by it. Oh my goodness, and the mouth might be hard to land. Nautilus might go down here. If Echo has anything to do with it, he does go down. My fight Malphite's still walking away or running away. But Zed does survive down at the bot lane. With the help of Rumble. And they might just go for it, this tower right here. And I think Malphite's gonna keep contesting mid. Zed does go down though. Flash coming out for Kaisa, but doesn't help at all. And both teams will walk away. Flash coming in from Echo and gets another kill. Oh my. They do manage to get the kill, but now they would just be able to get the mid tower. If they do decide to go for it. And they will get the tower. Churchill slowly picking up picking up the leader just a little bit. I think it was like a 4k gold lead, now it's slowly turning it into a 3k gold lead after dropping some uh, uh getting uh picking up some bounties on north side. Right now though. Nobody picking up the Baron right now. Both both teams just being scared to start it. Or being scared that the other person uh, other team could take it. Definitely. And the gold lead is def slowly coming back. They're clawing their way back from the graves. Able getting what three shutdowns so far onto Zed. Or on Zed at least. But Zed now has Edge of Night, so let's see what they can do now with that. Edge knife active. And we do see that they're going for the control word and vision at Baron. For Churchill at least. Is that looking to Ooh! Mundo Q actually pops the the Edge of Knight. Ooh, Malphite goes in with his R and he's and then Hecram escapes with the E and then the R dash to escape. But now is going in with the with the hook. I mean not the hook, the the snare. 
And right now they're just looking to... Oh my goodness, and then not our lands, and that might be one dead brand unless he flashes out. Oh my goodness, gets the oh. flash out. But actually, dies to the Q. I'm pretty sure he dies to the Q. And looks like that might be a Baron, since they don't have any AoE damage anymore without the brand. Hecum looking, uh, looking to find the steal right now, but Zed is up with both Deathmark and everything. I wonder what they can do with this. Echo looking to go in with par Parallel Convergence. Lance stun on Nautilus. Nautilus might be dead. Oh! And Echo, I mean, Echo uh, uses his R and he dies. Oh my goodness. It, it, it's too much going on. Oh my goodness. Zed dies also. Red team also picks up the Baron coming, uh, but that's gonna be an ace coming from Churchill and no one on Burnaby North side gets the Baron. Uh, yeah, they said if we can have it, nobody can have it. So they just killed everyone. A hectic fight. Quite sporadic. First at what? Tribush at top and then everybody just going all in at mid. Even though they were one member down. Right now they're slowly, slowly but surely, uh, Burmy North is throwing their lead that they had in the early game as the game transitions into late game. And we might see, I think, a repeat of what happened in early, the earlier game today. Where was it? I believe Clarny and Vantech, where they were just going back and forth in gold lead. So, so my same thing might happen where they're what, a bunch of gold down, and then what they end up winning. You but, know who knows? This might be the reverse sweep coming from. I mean, not Clarny, uh, Churchill. Right, right. Nothing is over yet. Let's see what everybody does. Nothing is done yet. Honestly, I'm hoping for at least a game three. We can at least hear the silver scrapes. But who knows? Maybe Burnaby North can manage to just close this game out. If they can find a nutty pick right now. Echo trying to find a pick onto Nami, but Nami just walks away and just, just being too fast for Echo. Oh, I didn't even realize that Hegon didn't even opt for the Trinity Force at all. No, he's just going for straight, like, I mean, damage. He would just went full tank, if I believe correctly. Pretty much. Or basically, it's full bruiser. Not a bad build, but a quite, a quite interesting, at least. Deathmark does land on Mundo. Kaisa does get the stacks up, but nobody goes down so far. Killer Instinct goes in and gets Zed. Malphite might be able to run away. And he does. That Killer Instinct was just able to shift the momentum of that fight around. Even though it was, what, 3 on 2, 4 on 2. Still really good. And we do see, what possibly a reset, I believe. Coming in for North. Or they might just be taking the camps instead. Yep, One thing just... I keep on noticing is that Rumble is not joining the team because he has to go split push right now. Um, Zed shouldn't be. Now that it's into late game, like Zed shouldn't be looking to. Um, like he shouldn't be looking to burst down the tanks. Like the tanks become are just now too tanky for him to burst down. Oh, uh, I want to see him like go for Kaiza or maybe like Brand. Since Echo does have Zhonya's and um, his Chrono Break, so... I'm just wondering who's gonna pick up this dragon. 
the third mountain, I believe. Yep. No, I believe it's what the fourth mountain so far because what? Uh, they were able to. I believe Churchill was able to pick one up earlier this game. Looking to clear I, the vision right now. I believe what North picked up two. I'm not too sure. And we do see three, four in the jungle. Well, it's what happened? Instantly. What happened? I I legit blink. And I don't see Echo anymore. What happened to him? Well, he just popped like a balloon. It's instantly gone like that with a snap of a finger. Damn, just them, just Burby North just layering CC after CC. There's not much that Echo can really do. Can't R, can't Sonya's. And we do see Righteous Glory coming out. Oh, lands the. Last, Death charge uh, does go. Nami O does connect. And Kaiser might just go down here and rumble. He uses all his ult and he lands and gets the kill. Is that picking up the solo kill on Brad? And that's gonna be one dead. That's gonna be one dead Churchill. And that was the fight that they needed to find. Looking for the pick, they get the pick on Echo, and then they just team fight their way and then just take down. Both three, uh, all three members, Mundo, mm -hmm. Kaisa, and Rad. They're looking to pick up this dragon, but Hecrum is up right now. And Echo does hop in there without choice, I believe. But they will just back away. Mid tower and dropped. And they would just zone off the Hecrum. He might just go in there, try to go for a steal, but they turn onto Hecarim. He's gonna have to drop his GA in, in order to live or something. He's chunking down lower, lower, he's melting. GA does pop, and I think he's just gonna go down here. Well, Time Bubble does land, and Hecarim does die. Nice pick coming from north side. That's gonna be one. Oh my goodness, and Zed just looking for the pop, and that's it. Bra uh, Rumble actually picked up the kill on Bran with the. That Kaisa with his R again. That's that's three members dead. That's a Baron, and that could be a Mountain Drake afterwards, or they could just on. A... They're just gonna start off with the Baron right now. They're actually starting both the Mountain Drake and the Baron right now. Malphite is alone though. That could be looking. That could be very dangerous. He gets interrupted, and I think Echo would just take this drag and they decide to go for it but they oh will fight goodness. before will Malphite go down and trying and he gets a drag will he be able to get echo at least he does not but they will pick up the baron and the drag at the same time unfortunately for someone's life but pretty much worth and now let's see what they do with the Baron, especially that they're about what six K ahead. Mm -hmm. With Baron, and if the next dragon that going to be North, it, if they get this next dragon, they're just gonna get a huge shield. Uh, um, I think uh, yeah, the Mountain Dragon. That means they get the Mountain Soul. So. Tanks become even tankier. Malpha even gets a more big shield. And I believe this is crossing the territory of the longest game. So they might what just do a 131 or they might just try to brute force brute force this open. They're just slowly pushing it. Uh, I really want to see something happening as when they have Baron, but they're just playing it really slowly right now. Probably opting to get a pick and then after that, just pushing one lane. Rumble actually rotating over towards the bot side right now. 
or at least the mid side. Looks like they're gonna try to force uh, at least like a one four. Mm -hmm. And we do see what set is this thing in that bush, no matter what happens. But I don't think anybody's gonna walk up since they are just going through that bush. Mafe oh, goes go. in with the R, and he does get stunned, but Hecarim pushes and or pushes someone out. Sad. Gecko Perlo. He does rewind time, and they're able to pick up two kills. For one Malphite all. Oh my goodness, that ZR is just coming up in a matter of seconds already. And it's back up. That means he could pop one more person. And they might just go, they might just try to end this game here if they manage to kill everyone. The death mark comes out. Well, they die though. The chunks onto Mundo. Everybody is getting chunked down, melted, and Hecarim goes down. Nami picks up the kill though. And they do I get in chip. With Baron right now, Minion Wave is pushing in, and that's one dead echo. With the mouth by unstoppable force. And that's gonna be one kill picked up. That's gonna be another kill picked up by the Nami. And that I think that's game. There's that's and the rubble art burning them alive. And oh my goodness, they're chunk. There's nothing they can do. I think that's game. They're gonna close it out. They're just closing it out. Oh my goodness. And Kaiser just gets popped by the rumble. And that's game. 2-0 coming uh 2-0 over Churchill. Werby North takes this game moving on to semi-finals. Congratulations to North. They are able to pick up the win in a 41 or do you want to say 42 minute game. And they do, as you said, they do move on to semi-finals. Yet again. Blessing Burnaby North with the Johnny Ma commentary. Like it's, I think it's a blessing at this point. Um, with finals coming up soon, uh, just a reminder that finals and third place uh match for the for this league will take place at TGS. Uh, I th think the date is December fourteenth. Yes, the date is December fourteenth. Uh. Yeah, yeah. The, the date is December 14th for both first place, second place, and third place uh, matches um, held at TGS. I think I got everything right. I believe so. With that being said, I think you. I think what said did the most damage. Yeah, by far. Zed, <laughs> honestly, just being a huge threat. Like that, Zed just honestly looked damn. Both carrying game one and then just doing so much damage and just being such a threat in game two, also. Like, it's a crucial part of the team. Mm hmm. Again, congratulations, North. And we've been your casters, Johnny and Sarek. And we'll be signing off. Until next time. Later, everyone.